And then most recently, I was able to um, go out on my own, and I've started my own consulting company called EMC United. Uh, we've got a little bit of lab capability, and, and um, you know, we do training, and we do consulting, we do troubleshooting, and uh, it has been really fun so far. That's fantastic. Uh, tell us more about that. When did you start your own consulting firm? <laughs> in, officially in July of 2024. <laughs> so you can see how, how uh, ancient my company is. <laughs> um, but it's... Um, Again, it's sort of moving to back to my core strengths, right? Because sure. when people contact EMA, mm -hmm. they're really looking for that simulation uh, design advice. Um, right. You know, they're not going to call up EMA to do troubleshooting. Right, right. That's that because that's not what EMA has historically done. Right. Uh, and I really missed that part. I missed right. the hands-on aspect. You know, the right. uh, the more problem-solving aspect of it. Um, now, obviously, my goal with the training and the education and doing talks for, for you guys and for the IEEE and, and uh, whoever will have me is so that engineers who've never heard of EMC, they, because it doesn't get taught in colleges, right. um, my goal is to try and give them the fundamentals that they need so they don't have to have troubleshooting later, right? right like right. do it right the first time, it's cheaper and faster for everybody uh, and way less headaches. But until that message gets out to everybody, um, you know, there's still going to be troubleshooting to do, and, <laughs> and I enjoy doing it. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's actually a great segue um, to, you know, as an engineer, you know, what are the things I should be looking for um, early on? Uh, and, and, yeah, just dive right into something. You know?